Lucid recognized right on that it wanted to provide a fully loaded version of the Air. The goal of the Air Sapphire is to position Sapphire as a performance sub-brand, similar to AMG or SVR, that may be included in prospective vehicles like the Lucid Gravity SUV. This was a rather technical request. Even the dual-motor Air Pure, one of Lucid's most relaxed vehicles, can reach 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds, which is already fast enough for most other vehicles. The Lucid team had to provide Sapphire daily drivability in addition to making it stand out with previously unheard of performance figures. They showed no hesitation. With its track mode engaged, the three-motor Air Sapphire can produce a maximum power of 1234 horsepower and 1430 lb-ft of torque. Its impressive specs include a top speed of 205 miles per hour and a 1.9 second 0 to 60 time, which are fast enough to leave you gasping for air and leave your face permanently on a phone screen. The Sapphire's appearance isn't as aggressive as some of its GT rivals with wings and tunnels. Additionally, the Sapphire eliminates the glass canopy roof in favor of an aluminum one that is lighter and has a lower center of gravity. The Sapphire's interior has a huge screen and a clean design similar to previous Lucid Air models, but it also has some sporty touches like blue stitching on the dark gray Alcantara door panels and front seats, as well as bolstering. The headliner is covered in the same material, which in a smaller car would turn the inside into a dank, dark cave. But in the vast cabin of the Lucid, it looks luxurious. The sport seats still have heating, ventilation, and massaging capabilities, since Lucid chose not to decontent the inside in order to save weight, in contrast to what several automakers do with high-performance versions. Passengers' complete padding is still there in the back seat. While EV track clubs are becoming more popular, Jenkins notes that most Sapphire customers want a daily driver rather than an extreme racer. Thus, a design's ability to balance comfort and practicality was essential. Most of the modifications to the Sapphire are really under the car, in the form of a third power plant, retuned suspension, and incredibly fast chassis software. The Sapphire required to be able to regulate power delivery from front to rear, as well as left to right in the back, because it had one motor up front and two in the back. Even with wide, sticky tires, applying more than 1,000 horsepower demands, incredibly fast changes. Not only is the new program useful for frightened travelers on corner exits, the Sapphire's handling qualities can also be modified using it. The rear wheels can be separately sped up or slowed down to replicate the fast reactions of a rear-wheel drive V8 in a short wheelbase vehicle, or the leisurely turning radius of a long, luxury automobile. There are two drive modes available for the current models. Track, which tightens the steering and suspension and relaxes the traction management, and Sapphire, which feeds in more of the 1234 horsepower that are available. Our brief time behind the wheel hardly made a dent in the Sapphire's 427 miles of stated range. With a 900-volt design, the 118.0 kWh battery used by the Sapphire should be able to be recharged via a DC fast charger at up to 300 kilowatts. The Sapphire costs $250,500 and is now for sale. Lucid might have just delivered the definitive blow in the battle for EV horsepower. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to support us. See you soon.